A baptism of fire has Grimsby churchgoers amazed. Fire-eating vicar Father Edward Martin sets his congregation alight with his circus skill and his enlightenment, and he hopes to breathe new life into his Scartho parish. Right, we've just had a baptism service, and during the service, as kind of an illustration for the sermon, um, I lit this, uh, this fire-eating stick here from uh, the Paschal candle, the Easter candle in the church, and I use that as part of the illustration, actually sort of did some fire-eating, as part of the illustration, to uh, hopefully explain to people a little bit about what baptism is about and about God's Holy Spirit. I went on a circus skills uh, weekend um, and learned to do some, some fire eating and some, uh, some other sort of, sort of small magic tricks as well. Well, fire is one of the symbols for God's Holy Spirit. Uh, come to us from the, the Acts of the, of the Apostles on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came down upon the Apostles. There appeared above their heads what seemed to be like tongues of fire. And when people asked John the Baptist if he was the Messiah, he said, no, no, someone is coming after me. And he was talking about Jesus. And he said, I baptise you with water. But the one who's coming after me, he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and fire. They look a bit nervous when you first light the, uh, the fire-eating stick, but then sort of when, you, uh, when you kind of do the act, if you like, in the context of this little sermon illustration, they seem to really enjoy it, and there's lots of positive feedback at the door after the service. It is some fun, and hopefully it helps them to engage with what we're doing, to make the baptism service enjoyable. And it's really there, as I say, as a kind of a fun teaching aid to explain the Holy Spirit coming and making its home within us, the fire of God's love coming and being a part of us and a part of our lives.